Big Weather's Big Recipes, sponsored by First Flight Federal Credit Union. Hey guys, it's Big Weather with another edition of Big Recipes. And today's recipe uh, was sent to me by a viewer, Vicki. She said she makes it every year out of Jim Graham's cookbook for city folks. Uh, and it's an old time recipe with sweet potatoes. My daughter who goes to the University of North Carolina at Pembroke brought me these giant, look, they're almost the size of my head, giant sweet potatoes. So let's make Jim Graham's cookbook and I'll list all the authors in the article. Let's make a sweet potato casserole. So I chopped all those sweet potatoes. I'm boiling them. You can do them however you want. You can roast them. Um, they go for about a half hour of boiling water till they're fork tender. I can just, I can't even pick it up because it's so soft. So fork tender, ready to go. We're going to mash these and get going. All right, we've drained the sweet potatoes. The recipe calls for one stick of melted butter. Well, instead of getting a bowl out or a pan out and melting the butter, uh, this is a little hack for you. If you got to mash potatoes or sweet potatoes, my wife taught me this, is just mash the butter in with them when they're nice and hot. It'll melt and get to mash it. All right, those are mashed. We're going to add one cup of granulated white sugar. Next, we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of evaporated milk, not sweet and condensed. Make sure and use evaporated. And then finally, we're gonna add two eggs. And it says to stir this all together. I could use, if you wanted it a little more light and fluffy, you could use uh, the hand mixer. That would work great. I'm going rustic today because not everybody has a hand mixer. And so I'm just going to use a good old-fashioned wooden spoon. All right, all done. We're going to move this aside, and we've got to make the pecan topping. So for the topping, we've got a half a stick of melted butter. Do it in a microwave safe bowl. You're going to mix everything in. We're going to add one cup of light brown sugar to that. We need a third of a cup of flour. Finally, we're gonna add a, a full cup of pecans, or pecans, however you wanna say it. Uh, and then you mix this all together with a fork, it says. Pretty well mixed. Set that aside. We've got a nine by 12 baking dish. And to this, we're gonna put our, it calls for three cups of the sweet potato mixture, or it's three cups. We're a little over, so. Looks like it's about, when you add all the ingredients, it's about four total cups. So we're gonna do that. I've had a little more than three cups of the sweet potatoes, but I didn't wanna waste them, so. That's what we got. I'll take the rest and freeze it for next time. Layer it in there. Now we're gonna evenly add our pecan butter mixture across the top. Looks pretty evenly distributed. This is going in the oven. 350 for 30 minutes. All right, there we go, fresh out of the oven. Oh, it just smells like the holidays in here. We're gonna let that cool down for a little bit and we're gonna give it a taste. So there we go, looks delicious. Again, this came from uh, a cookbook from a long time ago. The original authors are Dolores Bentall, Margaret Helton, Jennifer Mitchell, Vicki Pettit. If you know one of those ladies, thank them for submitting that to the Jim Graham cookbook. I don't know how many years ago. Thank you to Vicki for sending this in. Let's give it a taste. Oh. That is so good. When we do a sweet potato casserole at Thanksgiving, we usually use maple syrup instead of vanilla. 
It gives it almost a candy cookie kind of flavor. With those pecans on top, nice and crunchy. This is delicious and would make an amazing side if you'd want to try a very southern side for your Thanksgiving table. Why not give it a try? By the way, No Shave November continues. If you go to noshavenovember.org and search Big Weather, or you go to my social media pages, you'll see it. Uh, any donations you can make, all proceeds this year go to the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation in honor of Bob Dumas and Bob's buddies. Uh, so if you'd like to make a donation, go ahead. As for me and the sweet potato casserole, that food will eat all holiday season. Mm-hmm.